guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Lauren, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're doing well. Today for Scent Sunday, we are gonna be talking all about fall fragrances. Now, initially I was going to do this big like fall video, have like 20 fragrances and you know, honestly, I just couldn't stop. So instead I'm gonna do two parts. So this is part one of fall fragrances and I'm gonna be talking about more affordable fragrances in here. Now for affordable, I'm talking about fragrances that are gonna be between like basically less than $20, $20 up to around $100. I know that affordable and what that means for everyone is different and also in the world of perfume Although a hundred dollars is expensive like <laughs> let's get real perfumes in the perfume world and the niche world can get quite pricey So I'm gonna be talking about affordable fragrances today and then next Sunday I'm gonna be talking about some more niche some more expensive perfumes Maybe some you want to sample save up for really cherish in your collection And I'm gonna talk about I think about 15 fragrances there. So Look out for that video next Sunday for part two. I am excited for that one. I'm excited for this one. And really, I am someone who just like scents for what they are. I don't care if they're very expensive. I don't care if they're very cheap. I just wanna actually fucking like them. And so although I tend to have a lot more expensive perfumes in my collection, it has nothing to do with liking that they're expensive. It's more just what my taste is. And I tend to like something woody, unisex, that type of stuff. Maybe not as fruity, maybe not as like candy sweet necessarily. Necessarily. I like some sweet stuff, but that I feel like is why my collection skews a little more expensive But I have some really great things here all at a little bit more of an affordable price point So I can't wait to share them with you. Let's just get into it. It's going to be long as always <laughs> It always is and I really have been enjoying the fragrance videos I know a lot of you guys have been recently too So I'm so glad you guys are here and enjoying scent Sundays and I really just appreciate you And am excited to have a little community on these Sundays to talk about fragrances, what we love, what we don't, whether you love what I love or we have opposite scent profiles. I just love hearing all about it. So I just wanted to say that like, hi guys, I'm so glad we're all here. Let's start off with Mix Bar. I want to talk about vanilla bourbon. I picked this up on recommendation from you guys. Just a lot of people. I feel like this is a very loved scent. A lot of people talk about it as a dupe for by the fireplace or something in that realm. And I get that for sure. This is a really rich vanilla. It has something kind of boozy going on, but also definitely a smokiness a little bit of a spiciness and again that kind of richness gives it a nice full body it's delicious while also having some balance again with something a little bit smoky and woody going on this is super affordable at $20 for an actual perfume and I find it lasts decently well on me as well which I cannot complain about to me as I wear the scent the rich creamy sweet vanilla comes out and I also get something that almost smells a bit like patchouli on me I don't get something super woody as I'm wearing it. There's also something kind of almost musky going on as well and it's really nice. Delicious yet sexy um, and kind of sophisticated. I, I really love that scent. If you haven't tried uh, vanilla bourbon from Mix Bar and you like By the Fireplace, you like more of those like spicy or richer vanillas, I definitely think it's one for you to check out. This has notes of black pepper and bergamot in the top, jasmine, vanilla orchid, and apple blossom in the mid, and then Madagascar vanilla, sandalwood, and amber in the base. There's nothing necessarily like smoky in the notes or or patchouli in the notes, but that's definitely the vibe I get on my actual skin. I think this is a pretty dang quality vanilla. Like it's good, it's yummy and yet more. And I feel like it lines up with a lot of my more expensive perfumes. In a similar realm, like a similar style of vanilla, this is Wicked Vanilla Woods from Bath and Body Works. This is a body mist. I have a few different body mists we'll be talking about, but I wanted to mention this one here because it's more of a similar thing where it's a, a nice rich vanilla, very sweet, but it also has something kind of spicy something rich going on it's beautiful as well it's just in the same vein for sure this has notes of magical vanilla glowing amber wood and enchanted pink pepper same notes <laughs> as the vanilla bourbon so it's one to try out if you can get bath and body works better or you like the mist you want something a little lightweight maybe this one's really good but i would say also for a mist it's more strong it's not that it lasts longer but i'm just saying it definitely almost smells more like a perfume in a mist form than it does a body mist so i really love this one this is for halloween like it's 
in the Halloween packaging. I absolutely love it. I feel like I smell all their stuff now, like all their different mists, and I pick up like one out of a collection, maybe two out of a collection. And this one was like an immediate yes, like I love that. Not everything's gonna be vanillas in here, okay though. <laughs> Let me get that straight. I also didn't mention a lot of vanillas that I mentioned in my vanilla video, which was my last video on perfume. So I'm gonna leave that down below. If you wanna know my top 10 favorite vanillas, doesn't matter price point, it just matters smell. I'll leave that down below, but I did kind of leave those out so I wasn't repeating stuff so um, yeah those fall into fall category for sure next I want to talk about this one from Juicy Couture this is Majestic Woods and I initially picked this up because of a video from Chris um, at the perfume nest here on YouTube I'll leave her channel down below but she did a video uh, probably like a year ago at this point talking about perfumes that smell more expensive than they should and uh, when she was describing this I was sold I was like I need to try that like I gotta try that Juicy Couture and if you don't like Juicy Couture Couture scents, don't be scared. <laughs> this does not smell like Viva La Juicy. It doesn't smell like Gold Couture. It doesn't smell like those scents I feel like at all. This is an ambery, woody, kind of resinous, a little bit spicy scent. It has some nice sweetness. There's some praline in here as well. And it's nice and rich for the fall time. You do need a little bit of cooler weather, I think, in heat. This is just going to be a little bit too much, a little cloying, a little choking you out like just overwhelming but in a little bit cooler weather it's very comforting it's one of those ones that's like sexy um there's like this spiciness i believe there's patchouli in here i don't think all of the notes are are listed correctly on fragrantica because i'm pretty sure there's patchouli in this but i also get something like right on the verge of medicinal coming off it's not medicinal in a way that makes me feel sick it's just i don't know it has something to it that feels just just warm enough, just comforting enough, just heavy enough to really work for cooler weather. On me, this wears a little spicy, a little bit woody. There's some sweetness coming out at the beginning, but really I find um, a nice sweetness kind of seeping through as I wear it. There's a praline note in here that I feel like you really get to smell as it's on your skin, or at least on my skin, and I love it. I think it's such a nice, unexpected, honestly, perfume <laughs> from Juicy Couture. This is a specific range there's three perfumes in this range I also really like listening amber and I recently have tried the royal rose I think it is the royal rose is also they're all very different from traditional juicy couture scents and I really like the line but I would say majestic woods is probably uh, it's like tied with glistening amber. I like glistening amber a lot too. That probably should have made it in here. But anyway, I really love this. Can't wait to like bust it back out. I got it last year. A lot of these perfumes I'm like revisiting for the first time in a while. And it makes me so excited to wear them this winter, this fall. Oh, I can't wait. I didn't necessarily distinguish between like fall and winter. There's a few perfumes I left because they are more like wintry perfumes to me, but a lot of these I feel like will kind of work for just in general kind of colder months. To read off notes from Fragrantica that are kind of wrong, um, there's woody notes, ambroxan, praline, amber, and tonka bean in here, but like I said, I'm pretty sure patchouli is listed even on Juicy Couture's site. Sometimes Fragrantica is not completely trustworthy. So always go with your nose too and look on sites if you really wanna know notes. I wanted to mention that this on its own is a little bit expensive, but there are third party places you can get this like fragrance net and you can definitely find it for like around 50 on that site. I picked mine up for Mercari secondhand, which also got me a deal. And um, so that's why I put it in here, just so you guys know, you can definitely find this perfume at a more affordable rate than like full on retail. We're at three perfumes. Why do I do this? Why do I do this to myself? I be so simple just pick six just pick six fragrances but not me <laughs> no i gotta pick a million let's talk about another spicy guy this one's from skylar it's called fall cashmere it's in the name okay we already knew this was going to be a fall scent mm, this is like fall like the spices of fall pumpkin spice some type of candle some type of like uh pie with lots of cinnamon maybe nutmeg i don't know there's like really fall spices in here so delicious so so delicious i really think this is like the epitome of fall in a scent if that's what you're looking for you want something spicy it has a little bit of sweetness fall cashmere definitely go smell Skylar's a clean brand and these retail for $85 but they're always doing deals I feel like you could find these definitely like 30% off so be on the lookout for deals if you're really interested in one of these perfumes mm, and there's something to this I'm more excited probably this year than I was even last year to wear this perfume you definitely need to like spice to like this because you're getting almost like a warmer version of when you walk into Michael's and there's those pine cones, it has something going on like that. There's almost uh, a fall candle, a fall decor, 
scented decor thing going on with this so just keep that in mind I guess but mm, I think it smells really good and I also really love mixing this you guys know I love vanilla sky from Skylar so I love putting fall cashmere and vanilla sky together it kind of softens out the spiciness that's in here adds a little vanilla you guys know I can't help it mm, this one's really good though I can't wait to wear that oh so festive like this is like the epitome of like what you would wear the leaves are turning you're doing like a family gathering and everyone's kind of annoyed but you're taking a photo anyway like but you'll be happy you have that photo later in your life type of thing like that's the vibes <laughs> to me anyway also your mom's spraying i don't know some room spray that smells like this i could definitely see that as well <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the notes in this, almond and ginger in the top, cinnamon, clove, and matcha tea in the mid. Lots of spices here. Then there's vanilla, sandalwood, amber, and white musk in the base. So festive. Like if you're looking for a festive ass perfume, it's fall cashmere. It like gets me in the spirit. <laughs> That's me really excited. I want to go like apple picking. I want to carve pumpkins. I want to walk in the forest. I don't know. It makes me really excited. All right, let's move on past that memory. Okay. <laughs> okay. If you like the idea of fall cashmere, but maybe you're telling me, Hey Lauren, that's too much. Okay. Like it smells too much like a candle I want to burn. It's not a perfume I want to actually wear. Then I think you should try replica autumn vibes. Now I have the small version in here. If you get the big one, it will be over a hundred dollars this was kind of my <laughs> way around affordable i'm sorry i tried i really tried i'm trying to find more affordable fragrances i really love but i'm not gonna come on here and tell you about fragrances that i don't particularly love and like rave about them if i don't like i can't do it it could be great for you i try to explore brands but you know but i still gotta be true to myself and my nose okay what i actually like in my nose anyway the small size is like 70 dollars for the one ounce and that's the size i also have so it counts. It counts. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> I love this too. This is definitely more, I feel like refined, I guess. It's not as sweet as fall cashmere, way more woody. It still has a nice spiciness to it. When I breathe this in, I smell cold air. I smell like I am in the forest. The leaves are turning. I can almost smell the dirt on the floor as well. I think there's carrot seed in here that's like giving it kind of that, I don't know, earthy kind of quality. There's also a maple leaf, I think, note in here. And although I don't think it's really giving it any sweetness, I can smell that there's some maple. It's some dry woods. The leaves are for sure orange and yellow at this point. They're crunching underneath your feet. It is so good. It has that same spiciness, but it's done in a way that feels a little more realistic than just straight up like cooking spices, I guess, or like a pie or a pumpkin spice latte or something. It's done with a little more finesse, I guess, in autumn vibes. But I I know a lot of people don't like autumn vibes especially when it came out it came out last year when i was first getting into perfume so i was like beyond excited that replica had a new scent i hope they come out with something new this this fall anyway let me read you the notes on this this has notes of cardamom and pink pepper in the top nutmeg maple and carrot seeds in the mid and then cedar and moss in the base very woody very spicy in a fresher way and i feel like it also i don't know it just has a more of like a cold air feeling it reminds me of a prey from ellis brooklyn but maybe not as lush i feel like that is a forest in the winter time when it's snow there might even be some greenery still or at least some living things i don't know it feels more lush i guess and cold and boozy this doesn't quite have the booziness but it's like the dry fall version of that scent to me anyway because that still has a spiciness so i love autumn vibes i really do and it's one that sam wears a lot um it's probably more his than it is mine but i love it for fall it's totally unisex and i think it pairs well also if you want to sweeten it up with a vanilla I love that for you. I love that for me. I love that for you. Let's do another body mist. Okay, because mm, this is my newest, like probably right now, my favorite body mist from Bath and Body Works at the moment, it changes, but Sweet Whiskey, beyond good. And it's actually on the website now. So I'm so excited. I hope that they do a full size. It's just a travel and I don't know if they have the full size yet, but I hope that they come out with it. This is an ambery, vanilla, red berries type of scent. I think it might be woody as well, but it's definitely boozy and whiskey, duh. <laughs> it has whiskey in it. <laughs> it's called Sweet Whiskey. It's definitely boozy, but but the way the amber, the amber that's in here is one of those like toasty ambers that I really love. It has something not burnt, but and not quite nutty, but at least to me, again, this is all how I feel. You guys <laughs> might be like, you're insane, but this is how I smell stuff. But it has almost something kind of like 
not quite savory, but kind of toasted or kind of nutty almost. It's not nutty, but I don't know how else to describe it other than that. And it is so delicious. This is another one that doesn't smell like a body mist. It smells more like a perfume and it smells very similar to me. It's the body spray Bath and Body Works version, okay? It's not a dupe, but it's like in the realm of an issue side effect, which is divine divine i can't wait to talk to you about that one in next week's video it's so good um and it is the body spray version so i highly suggest this i love it it's just sweet enough it's just boozy enough the red berries in here i normally don't like that because it adds just red berries in every perfume or most perfumes i'm like yep there's a red berry in there like even eilish has those red berries and i feel like they add this really sweet thing going on and for whatever reason with all the other notes it works out in here i'm obsessed oh it's so good it's so good definitely try this one out you guys all right let's talk about a caramel apple scent i know how fun is that this is another one i found because of youtube i don't know who specifically um it's just kind of like talked about by different people it's from swiss arabian and it's casablanca this has a apple note as well as a grape note i do get the grape as well but it also has caramel in it so it's very sweet gourmand but it has a little bit of those fruity touches i think it's really nice and sweet if you want a, a fruity sweet gourmand scent that can take you into fall there's still something decadent as i wear this it gets a little bit more powdery and i almost get like leathery like a suede kind of note from it i i don't think it actually has like a, a leather but i always think of this one and silky woods from goldfield and banks like this is the sweeter fruitier version to silky woods to me they have some similarities though for my nose anyway let's see the notes there is a suede no oh that makes sense okay <laughs> there you go suede to me comes off very powdery soft kind of fuzzy you know, it's like, mm, it's good. I feel like it adds a nice, a nice thing to this fragrance. Anyway, here are the notes. Apple and grapes in the top. Then you have white woods, patchouli, and iris in the mid. And then there's caramel, amber, suede, musk, and Peru balsam in the base. It's just a nice one. This is, uh, I think retails for about $50. And I feel like you get a lot of product in here. It's nice and sweet. Just a good quality gourmand. If you're looking for a caramely scent with some woodsy notes, a little bit of fruity notes, I think it's a really nice one. And perfect for fall. I'm excited to wear that one. I think it's a little bit more fun. Doesn't take itself too seriously, but has some nice base notes in there also to give it some bite. You know what I mean? And like some structure, I guess. I really like that one. And I think it's a great one for fall. Next, I have another, I don't want to call it a cheat, but again, it's kind of, if you get it in the smaller size, it's under a hundred dollars. If you get it in the bigger size, it's probably not going to be under a hundred dollars. And this one is an oldie, but a goodie orange bitters from Joe Malone. This one I think also takes you definitely into winter. I think anyway, another fragrance that has like a fruity note, as the name suggests, this smells to me like precisely like it should be part of the replica line because it smells like orange bitters okay this has an orange note to it that smells like the peel of an orange you know when they make an old-fashioned and they kind of like express the orange on the out like it looks like they're just doing like woo woo stuff with the orange peel on the rim of the glass or you know whatever that's the kind of orange scent you're getting. It's definitely that like kind of orange oil almost. There is something definitely bitter to it. I get something almost cologne coming off of this as well. So there's like this really nice warmth. It reminds me of like a grandpa drinking a boozy drink and I love it and I love it. I think there's vetiver in this. I, I wanna say there's vetiver. It's been a while since I've looked at the notes on this one, but mm, I really love it. Definitely a little bit spicy, but in a fresher way. And it's not too heavy, although it has like a nice warmth to it. I feel like the the orange in it has a little bit of brightness something nice to the senses and as it wears down again you get that kind of cologne like lived in feel on your skin in your clothes i feel like it there's something about really comforting sexy a little bit masculine but it's just kind of confident but still relaxed oh i love it it just feels like old memories it's like looking at an old book with pictures that are like kind of i don't know brown from age or something i love it i don't know i have a lot of memory obviously with this one all right the main notes on this are bitter orange, amber, sandalwood, orange, mandarin orange, citruses, dried plum, no vetiver, just sandalwood. I don't know. I guess I'm wrong, but I feel like it just reminds me of a men's scent that I feel like has had vetiver in it, or maybe just vetiver pairs with citrus as well. I feel like anyway, you know, that warm feeling when you drink a shot 
Where am I going with this? But you know how a drink can kind of warm you up in winter? I feel like that's what this is. Like it's kind of like this. It's a little bit of warmth and something kind of bright, something to like up your spirits, I feel like. When maybe it's a little cold out, a little dreary out, this one would definitely brighten my spirits in that type of weather. So I love Jo Malone Orange Bitters. I feel like this comes out, I think every year or something. I think it's more of a seasonal one, but I really suggest it. It's very, very good. All right, flashing to another body mist. Let's talk about Bonfire Bash from Bath & Body Works. I feel like all of my body mist are from Bath & Body Works. Mmm, this one's so good. Oh, this one's so good. This is a sweeter version to me of By the Fireplace. So if you really want that marshmallowy smell with just a little bit of smoke, that's what this is. And there's something kind of powdery as well to it. Very sweet. The notes on this are vanilla bourbon. Oh, we love a vanilla bourbon note. Oh my gosh, who doesn't? It's like vanilla better. <laughs> it's vanilla, but better, okay? Then it has creamy sandalwood. Love that for us. Cashmere musk. Love that for us. This does have this tiny bit of a smokiness. I feel like though it's really just a richness from the vanilla bourbon. It's not actual smoke. I love a smoky note. So it's not like, to me, real, like real smoke. Smoke. Although I don't like when perfumes do like the liquid smoke note. You know what I'm talking about? Where it's kind of like Worcestershire sauce mixed with liquid smoke. Like I'm like too much. Okay, come on. We don't want that necessarily. But I do like something a little bit incensey, smoky, whatever. This to me doesn't quite go there. But I know for other people how they smell things. Maybe on your skin it would turn that way. I just feel like it's the more tamed down version. So you don't have to be too nervous of the smoke note. I guess is what I'm trying to say. Very good. Very marshmallowy and powdery and just yeah the musk in here is really nice and such a good one for fall and colder months so I love that one and you know what while we're at it let's just do the other Bath and Body Works <laughs> this one is Fireside Flurries and this one to me is more graham crackery so um, I get a lot more of the marshmallow in this I also get a little bit more of like a graham cracker and to me more of almost uh, a foodie item as well in this um, but there's lavender in here too mm, yeah the lavender I don't know why the notes in here let me read fragrance notes toasted marshmallow pink lavender cashmere woods it's creamier it feels like a lavender s'more or something but not too much chocolate you know but just that ooey gooey delicious graham cracker crust with some marshmallow and then there's this creamy lavender that kind of just adds something like soft with the cashmere super sweet though so good so comforting a great one for like more cuddling and nighttime I love this also in the body wash I will for sure be picking up a few of those when it comes back out which I'm just preemptively saying it will come back out I really hope it will this year I had the body wash last year loved it I loved this to death so much and then when beach nights came out it's like the beachy summery version of this so if you like beach nights you got to check this out it just doesn't have that like sea salt seaweed kind of note in it but definitely very sweet more sweet to me and gooey than this one this is like vanilla and more sweet smoky or like woody this one to me is more like delicious and yummy and creamy and like yeah mm gourmandy to me they're both gourmand but this is more like more edible i guess absolutely love it makes you want to eat it i can't wait to wear that and i love it for movie nights and hanging around and doing cozy stuff putting on your sweater oh but you're still staying at home and kind of like maybe making some hot chocolate that's when you wear fireside flurries okay who's excited who's excited i am i'm so excited you guys oh shit i think i have five more to talk about okay no I hope you're hanging in with me. I hope you're hanging in there. I want to talk about a floral fragrance and I don't love florals as much. I have some that I do really love, but I guess overall, it's not really where I'm going with my stuff. I'm sure you can tell from my videos at this point, but I wanted to mention Valentino Donna Born in Roma because I do feel like for a lot of the florals I have, this one works, I think, into fall. It really does because the vanilla in here, it's a vanilla bourbon note. <laughs> yes, it is. It mixes, I think there's jasmine in here. There's some black currant in here. There's also some woodsy notes as well. And the vanilla really takes over. I guess I just imagine this being in a scarf when it's not too cold, right? So I don't think this is going to get you into the cold, cold months, but just that transition into fall. I think this would work really well for this thing is a beast on me. I don't know what it is. It projects it stays for 
hours and hours. I am like, holy crap, what did they, how'd they formulate this? I can just smell it forever. Sam can smell it forever. I really like how it wears too. I feel like it gets creamier and more vanilla as it goes. It's a little bit brighter, especially if you're not into super sweet stuff. As much as this is sweet, it does have those florals in it, so it doesn't feel as edible. It just, it just smells really nice, you know? I think this is one too. I, I can just imagine it in your hair. It's in your um, scarf. Like, that sounds so nice. <laughs> and also, I know it's gonna wear really well and kind of stay on the scarf. So many scent memories are gonna be created with this thing, I can tell you that much. And again, it's more of like a transitional one to me for the fact that it's still hot as hell, okay, <laughs> outside. Like, as much as I'm excited for fall, it's like not actually cold yet. The notes on this one are black currant, pink pepper, and bergamot in the top, jasmine, jasmine sandbag, jasmine tea in the mid, and then bourbon, vanilla, cashmere, and guyac wood in the base. I think it's a nice one for fall and the transition if you're looking for something more floral with some vanillas and it still has a richness to it because I feel like sometimes this in summer for me at least like in a summer day would be too much especially with how it projects on me I would be like okay <laughs> it's too much I gotta get in the shower I gotta like wash off it's too thick of a cloud like I can't escape it but in the cooling down I think it's really nice and that all being said it is one of my favorite floral perfumes now this is for people who actually want something deeper I feel like um, it's not gonna be for everyone this is midnight ride from blue hill and this is a leathery smoky woody moment okay it's not gonna be for everyone but I find there's a creaminess still in there Sam thinks I'm crazy when I say that cuz he's like you like that like the hell um so it's not for the faint of heart i guess i want to say i know it's a clear liquid so it can't be too bad but this is created by blue hill perfumes they make small batch stuff i think in where is it i'm gonna read off the site because i want to read you the notes i discovered the scent through olfactive last year if you don't know olfactive is a niche perfume sample subscription i have a whole video on subscriptions if you want to check that out but if you're interested in getting into niche you're interested in just like the fun of smelling stuff like that's why i love that subscription so much is because i just want to smell i just want to smell and like test my nose and get excited and have other people smell and let's talk about it like that's one of the the most fun things about perfume to me and so that subscription lets you do that um whereas other subscriptions which are great i like scentbird as well they give you eight mil they're definitely bigger samples and it's more for you to wear it and i love that i can just sample and some i want to wear and some i might want to buy a full bottle of but others i just want to explore and just like know Know about anyway the raving the rants the tangents you can come to expect it okay I believe blue hill fragrances they're based out of New England and all of their scents are based around different things on New England so midnight ride has this whole story I want to kind of read it to you but it's about Paul Revere's midnight ride to tell that the British are coming and so that's what it's invoking I guess and you get like the leather of the saddle to me you get the smokiness I also find on my skin the, like woodsy and kind of piney notes also really come out and mix with that smokiness mix with that leatheriness it's like a high leather note in here so but I find the leather it's nice and soft and supple as much as it still has like some wear to it it's not too dark it almost has something and I don't know if it's mixed with like the kind of pine that I'm smelling as well but I get a little bit of like more intense new car also like that kind of a leather ish note I really love it I almost want to say there's sandalwood because I get something creamy like that also to this one. I want to read you the stuff. It says aromatic moist earth rises with the rhythmic stamp of speeding hooves while the air is filled with herbaceous oh my gosh swaying fields and the greenness of newly budding leaves entering the woods the exhilarating freshness of pine fir balsam and cypress mingle with nutmeg for an energizing effect at the heart. As the first cool morning breezes begin to rustle a resinous blend of sandalwood cedar blackwood precious musks and smoky amber bring a warm central finish to the dry down. This is so good. I wonder if it actually has leather. I'm pre I mean, to me, there's no way this doesn't have leather in it. Very sexy, a little bit different. Um, I really love it, but it might not be for everyone, but maybe you could sample what they have. They have some more fresh scents also on their site. They only have like six or seven cents. I don't, it's not too many, but I wanted to shout this out. I think this is like $60 for the 30 mil. All right, continuing on. I want to talk about another leather scent, another one if you're looking for a suede note, but this one's delicious, okay? This has also marshmallow. It has incense. There's some cardamom in here. Here. Does that not get you excited? Oh, 
That should get you excited. Honestly, there's saffron in here. This is from Brown Girl Jane and it's the scent Casablanca. If you're looking for a really sweet marshmallowy scent, but that also has some saffron, there's like some wateriness from that saffron to me, as well as some really nice suede. Again, something a little bit powdery, almost kind of medical bandages coming out with this really nice soft marshmallow note. I think you'd really like this. Think Ariana Grande Cloud, but a little bit more. Like it's very much in the, the realm of like Bacchus Ariana Grande cloud, but then it has that leather note, has also incense, and I feel like that just adds a little more richness, maybe a little bit more depth, I guess, to this fragrance, and so uh, I feel like that's what makes it a little bit more for the colder months. I really love this. Definitely sweet, though. It has a lot of sweetness. I feel like I say definitely all the time. I hate it. I hate editing my videos, you guys. <laughs> I want to read you notes on this. The top has marshmallow, cardamom, and incense. Mid notes, vanilla orchid, suede, and saffron. And then we have sandalwood, amber, and musk in the base. It's a little bit powdery. Again, if you like that kind of medical bandage smell from Baccarat that you get, like I get that note and I like Baccarat a ton. It's like one of my favorite perfumes. I'm almost done with my bottle. I'm going to cry. And then I'm going to get the big one once I reorder it. <laughs> not looking forward to it, but also am at the same time. You know what I mean? Anyway, if you like that kind of medical note, I feel like that's how the suede comes out in here, but then it has a really nice sweetness. Think Ariana Grande cloud, mix them together. There's something kind of creamy, powdery. It doesn't have a whipped cream note, but I feel like the marshmallow is doing something similar in here. Really love it. And there's something kind of watery again with that saffron as well. So I really, really love this one and it's so cute. I really love it. These are like 60, I think at $60 price point. And I love the packaging, just everything about it. There's two other scents I really want to try. I haven't tried them yet. So if you have, let me know how they are. All right, we have two more and these are similar-ish. Let's talk about Elizabeth and James Nirvana Bourbon. This is just discontinued so uh, depending on where you get it or where you can find it I don't know exactly where that's gonna be but it definitely is a little bit more inexpensive and if you can snag it for a deal I think it's a good one this is a boozy dry woody scent with a nice vanilla note but it's not overly sweet the vanilla in here is not overly sweet at all to me um, it's not super rich in that way I feel like it goes more boozy to me in the notes on Fragrantica I think it's only oak vanilla and like tuberose and you do get some of those florals but I don't feel like the tuberose is bad in any way it just gives it almost like a brightness I guess very dry oak almost like an oak barrel I get something very very boozy like a vanilla booze but not like vanilla bourbon in a rich way I don't know what <laughs> that makes sense. If you like the dry wood notes, I love a dry like pencil shaving note. I like that. I like wood in a lot of different ways. Like with sandalwood, I'm like, I love it creamy. I love it dry. I love it <laughs> everywhere in between spicy. And even though this is oak, you definitely get something, I guess, cleaner. I feel like this is a clean boozy fragrance, if that even makes sense, instead of being super creamy. You know, I really love this one though. And again, if you can get your hands on it, I think it's nice. It reminds me almost too of like a hair product. Like there is something about it that reminds me of like a hairspray with all what I said on it. <laughs> and last, I want to mention Flora Mortis from All Saints. This is just a small bottle. Um, I believe their bottles though, I think they're on Fragrance Net right now for like $50 on sale, but um, they definitely do stuff for Black Friday. They go on sale periodically. Um, I think they're sold at Ulta right now. But anyway, I really like this. This is like resinous and ambery and kind of spicy without being super sweet. This one lives a little closer to the body. It kind of reminds me of some commodity fragrances that I have. There's something kind of spicy and rich and like full bodied about this without being something that projects it. It kind of sticks close to you, melts with your skin really nicely. The notes that are on Fragrantica are amberwood, black pepper, coumarin, and orchid. I want to go see what they actually put on their site though or on Ulta. Let me go check that. Yeah, the notes, it says it's a woody floral, black pepper, smoky orchid, and amber wood. So they don't give a ton of notes on it, but it's like ambery and resinous and woody. I almost want to say I, it must be the black pepper, but there is something smoky, almost kind of incense-y about it. Very sensual, very warm. Yeah, it's a sexy one, but again, it's not projecting sexy. It's more once they get close to you that anyone would be able to smell this one. I really like it. And I think it's a nice one for layering. So sometimes I want a vanilla to have a little bit more of what this has going on and I'll mix them, keep this kind of in the base and then put the vanilla on top and I really like that as well. So I wanted to give that a little shout out. Perfect for fall. And I feel like no one really talks about the All Saints perfumes that much and I feel like Sunset Riot is very similar or in the realm 
of uh, Baccarat and that gets obviously talked about so much. So they have some decent perfumes from their house. All right, I'm gonna end it here. Those are the 15 more affordable perfumes for fall that I'm so excited to wear. I can't wait to bring you my part two with some more niche, a little bit more expensive perfumes. I feel like that one's definitely gonna be one you're gonna wanna make some lists on so that you can go in store and smell or get some samples of. Really wanna test those ones out, but they're really good. Some staples in my collection. Fall time is one of my favorite times for perfumes. So I'm excited to bring those and talk to you about them next week. But let me know down below some of your favorite affordable or more affordable fragrances that you're excited to wear for fall. What's in your collection or do you have any recommendations for me? I would love to know. Thank you guys so much for being here and for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.